scramble up some tarantula. Part one of the reptile convention. Purchasing these scorpions. Sick of these mother trucking snakes. Quite the bald spot. Pretty impressive genetics here. Good afternoon, y'all. We have quite the episode for you today. We are going to Repticon today. It's gonna to be fantastic. I'm gonna split this video up into two parts. So part one is gonna be the first half of the show. Part two will be the second half, so enjoy. Because we're here at Repticon and I have these shades on. And shades today. That's the shade yeah, ephemeral. Check it out, guys. We are here at Repticon. Look at these Jehua geckos. Good so. nets. <laughs> Make sure I show you They're pretty guys awesome. Mossy there. geckos. Check them out. They're amazing. Ones. Yeah, awesome geckos here. Awesome geckos. Look at the little gargoyle geckos. Sell any I more? love them. I need to get a gecko soon, guys. What species should we get? What do you guys think? The mystery geckos that have been the popular thing. The mystery geckos? Yes. <laughs> Mystery geckos indeed. Oh, look, another gargoyle gecko. So precious. Not terrible prices either here. Oh, man. What an awesome vendor they are. Super cool. Which have been really popular. It's really nice when people are thinking about it. Be like, take a care sheet, think about it, and then make your decision. Yeah. Thousands of people that's, go to these reptile conventions, and it's like, man, they really, up. really, <laughs> so really need to do their research before you know, they, they don't make buying you know, any animal. Not only that, they need to make sure that they have their habitat set up for the animal, too. Is that a puppy? It's a French bulldog. Look at the little puppies. Oh, my goodness. Little puppies are so precious. Oh, look, some chinchillas, some hedgehogs. Love those animals. So many ball pythons. Yo, look really at these ball pythons here. That is impressive. Honestly, not too bad prices either. Got some pides, got some lemon blast, got a whole bunch of different assortments of animals here. Man, these conventions have so many different genotypes and phenotypes represented by the ball pythons. It's pretty wild, man. It's pretty wild. And here we got some yellow belly morphs, it looks like. A couple of yellow belly genes there. Some nice intricate track patterns on the back of these. Nice yellow coloration, some spots. Ooh, the pastel orange dream gene combination. That's pretty rad. Pretty awesome stuff. Man, it's just it's so impressive, man. You know, back like 20 years ago when I was a kid and I had pet ball pythons, we didn't have any of these morphs. These morphs were not isolated. They weren't identified. But now they are. And the pet trade has taken advantage of this to make just this incredible medley of colorful starburst looking critters. And some genes are so rare and so hard to obtain that they are literally worth thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Oh look, and now we have some little axolotls here. Check it out. Oh, I'll bet that one's got a green fluorescent protein in it. Got some wild types, some coppers, some exanthics. Oh, wow. Pretty awesome genes here. Oh, my goodness. Look at the little chinchillas just chilling out in there. And chinchillas, they're pretty cool because they actually uh, dust themselves. Dust has to be provided by the pet owner for them, of course. And we're back to the little puppy. Oh, look at the little French bulldog. So adorable. And check it out, guys. We've got some pretty awesome bioactive plants here from our friend Frog Daddy. Oh, man. He's got some awesome dart frog assortments today. Got the Galactonatus Reds. $85 a pop. Not too bad. Pretty cool little jelly bean frogs here. Got some Tinctorious Citronellas. Wow, those are pretty beautiful little critters. And these dart frogs were bred in captivity, so there is no danger to them. They don't have any of that toxicity that they get in the wild in the Amazonian rainforest. Oh, look at those Azurias. Wow, the Dender Beatties are pretty sweet. My goodness. Oh, there's the Galactinatus oranges. Those are awesome, too. Oh, and now we come upon my favorites, the Phyllobates terribilis. The oranges the are so really cool. Got some mints here. Those are pretty rad as well. $75 a pop. Oh, check it out, guys. Got some little yellow uromastics here. I'll bet you that these were wild caught. Always try to uh, to buy animals that are bred in captivity, guys. Don't 
buy wild caught specimens. That's my advice. Got a nice little home of hair, a blue tongue skink, just chilling out, burrowed. Oh me, oh my. My favorite part of the show, the invertebrates. Look at all these cockroaches. Beetles. Oh man, those are some based beetles. My, we also have some scorpions over there. Looks like some desert hairy scorpions. Maybe a couple of Asian forest scorpions. Got some jumping spiders here. Huntsman spiders, you love to see it. All kinds of uh, true spiders. They call them true spiders, guys. So, yep, got some praying mantises, some walking sticks. Gotta love those bugs as well, right? And this vendor, his name is, uh, his name's Joe. He is uh, from Asheville. Uh, his company's called Asheville Wildside, so check him out. He's wonderful. Do not, however, and I cannot emphasize this enough, call him Joe Exotic. That's a big no. Nope, don't call him Joe Exotic, absolutely not. Perhaps we can just refer to him as Wild Side Joe. Lordy, lordy, look who's turning 40, 40. We got some big old crabs here, black land crab. Oh man, Joe's hooking us up today. For a mere $75 a pop, you too can have a black land crab. That's pretty cool, right? Oh man, super based crab owners in this. And here it looks like we have some very well put together bioactive enclosures. Got a lot of nice tropical plants in there, probably from South America. Some nice springtails and isopods, the cleanup crews in there. Probably gonna be really suitable for some kind of amphibian, perhaps some poison dart frogs. Oh my God. Good golly gosh, check out this giant lychee gecko, the Lychianus redactylus. Only a thousand bucks, just a cool thou for the one of the largest gecko species on the planet, I'm pretty sure. Beautiful animal, man. Look at that leathery skin. They're so unique. Their eyes are awesome. Man, love this guy. Oh man, we got some big W snake energy going on here. Check out these ball pythons. They're amazing. Look at those pides, bro craziness oh yeah that's uh mm. i just want to take all of them home man the bananas the orange dreams the pastels the inchies i mean they're just fantastic dude pides are my favorite though pides will always be goaded in my mind i'm about the pides and now we've come full circle back to the amazing axolotls with some very nice enclosures it looks like very clear you know, make sure, uh, you know, if you do have aquatics that you have your uh, filtration system working correctly. Make sure you clean it regularly. Looks like these little guys are in great shape. Look very healthy, of course. Man, the coppers are just awesome. He's a big chungus. He's a big chunky boy. Look at that giant bullfrog, bro. That's so cool. Giant African bullfrog in the expo. Got some milk snakes, got some Kenyan sand boas, my goodness. And we have even more wonderful snake morphs here. Oh man, look at these inchy bananas. Those are sick. Probable orange dream. Then we have this bamboo pewter. Whoo, man. Some of these snakes is just like unbelievable how they look. Oh, that one's on discount. Yeah. All rubber banded up, $800, $500, $300. Got some van hypo vanillas in here, clown butter pastels, you know, VPIs, the, alba the albinism in, uh, in ball python is just such an interesting thing. Leopard geckos in the expo for today and tomorrow. Look at this little guy, all inquisitive and whatnot. Got a nice blood python here, looks like a T positive. Love the short tail pythons. Yeah, man, I, I really need to get a gecko, guys. Love geckos. And we come upon the chameleons. Oh, check out that panther chameleon giving me the sus eyes. Got a couple of panthers here. Couple of veils, couple of jacksons. Looking kind of cool. Man, I love chameleons. They do have a lot of requirements, though. Got to make sure their humidity is good. Got to have that screen enclosure. And I did real quick want to show you guys these awesome jumping spider enclosures. There's Mandalorian and Grogu. Is it Grogu or Groku? I can never remember. Kung Fu Panda. I mean, look at all this cool pop culture stuff for your jumping spoods. Awesome. And we've also got these pied chameleons, pied veiled chameleons. And I'm pretty sure these were captive born and bred. I did talk to the breeder about them. But yeah, really awesome fountains as well. Like, man... But, you know, different morphotypes for chameleons. You know, you'll, you'll see them at expos. Pretty awesome stuff. 
then we got some day geckos down here man the colors on day geckos is just unbelievable like every time i show people these little guys they just they can't believe the markings the coloration like just some awesome biodiversity